Hi, this is Paula J from Secure. Welcome to another episode of Secure Hacks Weekly. So today I'm going to talk about keylogging, but very special keylogging, which is done by using Windows built-in mechanisms only. Today I will show you how to perform that activity, how uh, you are able to leverage ETW in order to give you the list of everything that you typed. Let's dig in. Okay, so you should see my screen right now and uh, I've got opened a tool UI for ETW, even tracing for Windows. It's a free tool that you can download from GitHub. What we're gonna do, we're gonna just start tracing and that's it. And in Cortana, we're gonna start typing test. Why not? And we've got it done. So we're gonna do save trace buffers and we're gonna have a trace created and this is done. As you see, this is the trace that we've got right now. So we can even copy the particular particular path. So this is this merged ETL. Um, okay, and uh, that's it. We can just stop tracing. Perfect. So uh, what is important for us is that when you are doing that kind of a tracing, make sure that you're gonna do the input tracing full to uh, capture all the types of events. Uh, that you can capture at the at the current moment, and when we've got this particular trace, uh, then I can just double click on it, which is very nice. The tool supports that, and then it opens in the Windows Performance Analyzer, which you need to have downloaded first. Uh, and uh, Windows Performance Analyzer allows me to uh, do the little bit of a deep dive into what this particular trace shows. Very good. And we've got here, by default, loaded generic events, random ASCII, Chrome, and multi-events. Maybe we can just um, choose something. Random ASCII multi-events, why not? And we can we can have a look of what kind of different types of events do we have over here. And uh, we do have indeed um, events of a, of a keyboard. And then we've got, um, of course, multi-input. And then if you have a look what we can see over here, it's test. test. So this is exactly what I have typed over here. So this is quite interesting because it shows that by using the regular um, Windows monitoring, so even tracing for Windows, which is basically something that we could call an absolute source of information in Windows, we are able to monitor what is being typed on a keyboard uh, without the necessity of having additional additional tools over here. Okay, so this is the first thing that I wanted to show you. Second thing, it's a little bit more interesting because uh, at that stage, I would like to get into our tools and then we've got a CQET uh, W Keylogger. This is our tool and I will just launch it, enter, that's it. And I'm going to get into the text file, why not? And I'm going to take my keyboard that I have um, uh, connected by using the USB port because uh, we are monitoring here USB uh, events. And I'm just going to type something, yeah? So, so we could do it this way. Secure as you see. So uh, right now I press space. <laughs> so I am monitoring everything, every kind of a keystroke that I'm making uh, by the key on the keyboard that is connected by the USB port. So that is also that is also possible. What's the conclusion coming out of that? Uh, well, it's very simple. Anything in Windows can be traced as long as we do have appropriate monitoring preset before that kind of events happen. Yes, and that is something that we can get by using ETW, even tracing for Windows, if we know it uh, very well. Every single time we perform anything in Windows that is, of course, traced, it can be saved also into the file. But please remember that if you set up a pre-monitoring like that, uh, it is not for free, meaning it is also something that costs you a little bit of performance of your operating system. So it's really a question of what is your goal. If your goal is to trace the keystrokes, bring it on, you can measure how much of performance it takes. I mean, in this case, not much actually, uh, but if you want to monitor a lot of, lot of different types of events, so much, much more over here, then uh, it can even take up to 20 or even more percent of your overall system performance. So be careful with that. 
also a good lesson at the end make sure that log that you are logging to it's circular that you set up the certain size so that it does not fill up your drive because uh, it's not very difficult to do okay guys that's about it i hope it was interesting as you see it's not that difficult to perform the key logging activity by using build and windows mechanisms and uh, if you got some questions and if you have some comments please leave them in our blog post on or on our facebook wall uh, we are looking forward to those uh, and see you on another episode